UCLA is a university with unlimited possibilities for students that desire world-class academics and research. Unmatched diversity, incredible cultural and social opportunities, successful alumni and career networking, first-class campus facilities, plus America's top intercollegiate sports teams. Located in Westwood, just a few miles from the Pacific Ocean, UCLA's one square mile campus is surrounded by famous cities such as Bel Air, Beverly Hills, Brentwood, and Santa Monica. Welcome to UCLA Bruin Talk. I'm Ralph Irvin along with Javrina Seferi, and this week we are talking sports from the courts. We're going to talk basketball as well as women's tennis. UCLA is having a lot of exciting events. Let's take a look. And welcome back. We're going to start off talking about basketball, UCLA men's basketball, and a member of the team is Tyler Trapani. Tyler is a walk-on freshman, and he also happens to be the great-grandson of John Wooden. Tyler, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. First, let's uh, start off talking about basketball, talking about the fact that you play with three seniors mm -hmm. who've pretty much seen it all in college basketball, been to the Final Four three oh, yeah. years, <laughs> and they've probably seen a lot on campus too, so it makes it easy, not even with just basketball, but just everyday life here at UCLA, having someone that you can always uh, reference for mentorship. Yeah, um, those three seniors, you know, Al, um, Josh, and Darren are great for people to look up to. Um, besides on the court, if I need any help, you know, I can always ask them for anything. And even besides that, I haven't taken a class with uh, Michael Roll, who's going to is actually a senior, but a redshirt one, so he's a junior this year. Mm -hmm. But I'm taking a class with him, so he's able to help out, you know, and I mean, it's, it's all about the team and besides having basketball, being on the school-wide is a team effort as well. Tyler, what is it like to be part of a Division I collegiate sports program as a walk-on? <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's a thrilling experience. I mean, coming out of high school, you know, I didn't think you know, I'd be able to go up to a D1 school and uh, experience that kind. Uh, I was only averaging about three points a game, but I mean, coming from a team where we had some pretty decent players, as in uh, one guy uh, who's my friend Lauren Jackson is a starting point guard over at Pepperdine. He's got a full ride there. Okay. Another one, Michael Mays, is at Azusa Pacific. So I mean, being here is just a great experience and I take it in. So. Well, let's talk about the walk-on process. First, did you know that uh, you were going to be able to walk on before coming to UCLA? Well, at first, I put my application in and you know, I put it in just for grades and didn't even mention my great-grandpa for that at all. So um, they got it in, I was accepted, and I started talking to, uh, well, not really talking as much, but uh, Coach Howland gave me the opportunity saying, you know, I may be able to walk on. So I uh, took up on that offer, went to, uh, you know, took some practices with them in the beginning, like early summer, then also went to the tryouts as well. And uh, my friend Matt, who also is a walk-on here, mm -hmm. we both uh, did the tryout process as well, and we both got on. So. so when was the tryout process? The tryout process took place when we first, well, both of us started with them running and playing with them okay. early before the real tryouts even hit. But we went to the tryouts. We. Uh, did the drills with uh, everyone else that was trying to try out as well to get on the team. And we uh, practiced there, we led the lines, we did everything we could to become better and right. stand out a little bit. I mean, and because of uh, the 
stuff we did in the beginning of the year, we got in, and they really liked what we did. So, Playing a sport at UCLA takes a lot of time and energy. Have you, how have you been able to balance both a social life, basketball, and school? Social life is kind of put on hold right now. You know, you can't really put, do too much social stuff, but, you know, basketball is, besides academics, academics would be the number one priority thing, or the number one priority, and number two is basketball, to me, at least. I mean, I'd rather get a good education and then also play basketball as well. So, I mean, anything that I need to do, I do my academics first, get it done, do the homework, get everything done that I can, study as much as I can, and then when it's time for practice, go down, hit the floor, you know, go play, go practice with them, and then come back up, you know, hit the books again, and if there's any time to just relax, you know, maybe go out to the floor since I'm on Dykstra, just talk to the people on the floor. So. Tyler, do you think you could go through just a typical day for you, including basketball class? Um, let's see. Well, every day is different because you, you have different classes every day. But like Monday, Wednesdays, Friday, you know, I wake up around 9, get uh, something to eat, go to class, you know. And then I like to go shoot at SAC with my uh, teammate Blake Arnett. We go and shoot at SAC, um, the men's gym, for an hour between classes. They might have class at 1, come out, come back to my uh, floor or my room. And I put my stuff away, um, maybe take a quick 10 minute nap. You know, I've got to be ready for basketball. Recharge. Yeah, I got to recharge <laughs> a little bit. Um, go to practice, come back out, go get some dinner, come back, start doing work, you know, more homework. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, Tuesdays, Thursdays, it's 8 a.m. classes, coming back, finding some time to sleep because, you know, 8 a.m. is a. Uh, Oh, too early. Right. Yeah, too early. <laughs> recharge again. <laughs> Got to recharge a little bit. But um, it's not like work's not going to keep you up late every oh, night. Ever not, also. not all the time, but a lot of the time, you know, there's some nights where you got to right. stay up and do some work. But if if I'm not tired, take out homework, start doing homework in between there, mm -hmm. you know, go in class. And Thursday's my favorite day, though. You know, I got one class at 8, and then usually there's a game. Right. So, I mean, 8 o'clock, and then I'm done, so... I mean, that's basically it for me. And I would, I would imagine that, I mean, this is, you know, it's, it's culture shock for a lot of uh, freshmen coming from high school to college, but here you're going from high school to university and having all these activities. I mean, it's, it's got to be a, a major <laughs> shock to you. I, it is. I mean, the first quarter was a little tough, you know, struggling, you know, you know, just getting used to the process of how college is. And when you take in, you know, you get in, start doing your work, you're just like, wow, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people expect, or expect that you're going to get like A's and B's again. And in college, you know what, you, you need to at least expect a C or a B. Try, you know, anything better than a C is great. I mean, I had two B's last quarter, which is I'm not used to at all. Coming from high school, I had a 4.3 GPA. So, wow. I mean, getting those B's and that C plus in my math, I was like, Oh, man, i got to do better. But, I mean, this quarter it seems to be all right. I mean, I'm getting used to how college works. Right. Now, a lot of freshmen, especially walk-on freshmen, especially for football and basketball, are able to kind of fly under the radar. They can focus on schoolwork and getting used to the whole process. Hasn't exactly been the case for you. You've had attention because <laughs> of the fact that you're, you're uh, the great-grandson of John Wooden. How's that been for you? I've actually liked it. I mean, it's a great experience. I'd rather put the radar on the team, though. You know, right. they're the ones competing in the game, not me. I'm the one just helping out in practice, going about my business. But, I mean, being with the radar, it's, it's kind of a fun experience. I mean, I was able to suit up for the Wooden Classic and, you know, play in that game. So that was a, mm. it's pretty fun. But, I mean, getting all the attention, it's just like, all right, enough about me. I'm a walk-on. I'm here to play. I'm here to do schoolwork. Can we get it to the team? You know, the ones who actually play and compete, who are going to compete for the national championship. So, got a, got a quick uh, introduction to how the media works. They look for any story they can. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, being the great grandson of John Wooden, did he coach you while you were growing up? 
No, I kind of did not want him to. <laughs> Let's High just pressure. say. Well, eight years old, you know, I was eight, and I came back from a basketball game, and he was at that game. Let's just say, I shot a free throw, I made it. He didn't really like it, how it went, and he didn't like how he was rebounding as well. So he came back to my house after the game, and I'm there shooting outside still because you know, I wasn't really too happy with myself. He comes over to me, he's like, all right, you know, let me teach you how to shoot a free throw. I'm like, no, I know how to shoot a free throw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to me, he was just my great grandpa. I didn't know who he was. Right. Like, and then my parents came over, my dad especially. You know, He's like, do, do you know who that is? I'm like, yeah, that's my great grandpa. Yeah, that's your great grandpa, John Wooden, who coached at UCLA. Who, ha who has all those national championships. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's my great grandpa, though. You need to listen to him. You know what? Go inside for a little bit. You need to cool off a little bit. I'm just like, all right, all right. But um, besides that, he tried to, like, we don't really talk about basketball too much. Mm -hmm. It's more of the academics, keeping up and with schoolwork stuff. So. Well, and of course, he's renowned for the pyramid of success. So I'm sure that's kind of a lifestyle that you've been living once you became aware of that and <laughs> kind of opened up to, you know, listening to, to what he had to say. Oh, yeah. Um, pyramid of success is pretty much the basics of my life. I, lo I like to use it for, you know, anything that I can do. I mean, then again, sometimes I don't use it. It's just like I like it, but there's some points where I don't even like think about it where I could use it. Right. So I mean, besides academics, schoolwork, you know, and then the court, you can also use it in everyday life. Well, I think that one thing that uh, probably any student would appreciate is the fact that you get to see him, your family, pretty regularly on game days. Even mm -hmm. if it's not an extended uh, greeting, it's just being able to say hello. Oh, definitely. Um, a lot of times I'm able to sit next to him during the games as well, and I'm just sitting there talking to him. And I mean, it's just a great experience. If I can't do that, before he leaves, I always come over and I always try to help him out, you know, mm -hmm. say bye to him, give him love, send off love with him, so. Tyler, what made you decide to come to UCLA? Uh, let's see. <laughs> I had the uh, choices. Um, I, I narrowed it down to two before I decided on UCLA. Uh, I went to Arizona, the University of Arizona, mm -hmm. with my uh, my dad, and we drove out there. We went to first. We went out to the Grand Canyon to go actually see it because we've never been there. Okay. And it was a great experience. I mean, just seeing it. And we drove down there. We drove back to, to the U of A, and I actually liked the the campus, but I knew, you know, UCLA is where I should be, is where I want to be, and having the chance to walk on at UCLA, having a two-person dorm instead of a three-person dorm is always <laughs> a plus. Right. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather have two people than three. I mean, that's too much. Too much. Invasion <laughs> of space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, just the academics, you know, the two-person dorm and the chance to walk on made me really decide, you know what, UCLA is where I want to be. So you've been here in and around campus, you said since, what, June, yeah. uh, working with the team. So, I mean, that's over six months. What, what's jumped out at you? What have you really enjoyed while you've been here on campus? Um, let's see. I don't know. I just really like the school. It's just even just the beauty of the campus to the academics of the uh, the school, to even just practicing with the basketball team, to the food that we have at Ackerman Union and stuff. So it's all just great. I mean, you can get a haircut at Ackerman if you really want. <laughs> you can get food at Ackerman. You can get it all. You can get it all. But uh, you know, just the beauty of the campus and how it uh, you know, just envelops and everything. So. Well, Tyler, thanks for taking the time to join us. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. I want to thank Tyler Trapani for joining us here. And coming up, we're going to talk some women's tennis. We're joined by UCLA's head coach, Stella Sampras-Webster. Stay tuned after this public service announcement. A trophy can be made just about anywhere. But there's one place where champions are made. UCLA, champions meet here. 